going on guys, it's Big the Cat, and welcome back to some more Sonic Adventure DX in the last part. Uh, I fished for Froggy twice because he kept running away, and in this part, uh, I said we were going to go to Station Square, but we're actually going to the jungle because I want to get a power up. Yeah. I was gonna say it properly, but uh, yeah, we're getting a power up. But uh, yeah, if you, we're gonna, he's gonna move so fucking slow. I'm going back to the jungle so we can get a power up. I'm only just gonna get the ones I think I can need. I didn't want to get the one in ice cap, but um, I've said them multiple times this isn't a hundred percent. So yeah, and he moves so goddamn slow. Cat in general is just is just so bad it's good. It's just one of those things. Where the okay, where's the okay, what's the map? Okay, uh we're approaching Big's house, but uh Yeah, thankfully that map was out in the DX port. It wasn't in the Dreamcast version, but uh, it is easy to get lost in the jungle. And I oh I clipped. Anyway, so um Big should know the way to his own goddamn house, but uh, I don't know. Even jumping like does not get does is not much faster. This came in here to get a power up. Uh, where is Big's house? Okay, we're going in the. Okay, we're, we're past it. There's Big's house. Alrighty, so we're gonna get this power up. We can lift this bed and get a power up. It's the power rod. You now have longer casting distance. Yep, so we basically have less chances of the Raw snapping, and I'm gonna cut because I am not. You are not watching me walk through this all over again. It took me a minute and 30 seconds to get all the way back to the Mystic Ruins. That's how fucking slow Big the Cat is. Yeah, I just like to waste the game, the player's time. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. And we still have to get to Station Square. Like, uh, yeah, it's like. Jump. Get up the stairs. Oh, my tail. Why did my tail keep getting stuck in the door? And now it's daytime again, so fuck consistency and Big the Cat. Hey, what's Sonic have to say? Where is Froggy, Sonic? Where is Froggy? No, I wanna hit you with my fishing rod. Where is Froggy? Like, uh... I miss Sonic. There's Froggy! There's Froggy! No, oh, he's going again! Wow, Big didn't even get a line of dialogue in that cutscene, but we have to go to. He's heading towards the Emerald Coast. So we have to go there. We have not been to Emerald Coast since, like, Sonic Story, so. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, we have to- Oh no! Big's too tall! Yeah, I'm too tall to drown in this pool. So we have to go back to Emerald Coast, and again, if you know where the big level- If you know where Froggy is, you can end these quickly. And interestingly enough, it's different music in Emerald Coast, but I like this Emerald Coast music, I just don't like how it's attached to Big the Cat. So, uh, yeah, we can go long, since we got, the, since we got in the jungle in the Mystic Ruins, we can catch this longer, so yeah, 
Froggy will always be in this spot over here, so... Froggy, and let's just end this, and, uh... Wait, no, we, we went too short. Believe it or not, we're, Big the Cat is probably gonna take, like, two parts, let's just say. Come on. Come on, Fergie! The big come on! Come on, Fergie! Why isn't it really? There it is. Who fishes like Big the Cat? I swear to God. I just like to yank my rod back and forth. Come on out, come on out. Come, there we go. Jesus, I just like tore, I tore, I'm, they're like my GameCube controller is like actually like peeling off in terms of like the uh, control stick because it's really old and like I just peeled off a great portion of it. Uh -oh. There's E102 Gamma. Come back, please. Give me my friend back. No, I'm not as fast as a robot. We're on the egg carrier. This place doesn't look familiar to me at all. So yeah, looks like we can get the big the cat story done in two parts. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. I know to go to the hut shelter. Okay, this is actually the last of the Big the Cat levels. Like, the best thing about Big the Cat is that there's not that many stages. That's the best thing about Big the Cat is that there's only four levels. But I'm for though this one we have to actually we actually have to make it all the way to the end so we can get to, because the end's the fishing spot. So I'd say out of all the Big the Cat levels, this one's the best of them, but it's not really saying much. As he moves so goddamn so low. Okay, let's try this. Oh yeah, I'm going faster! No! Uh. Still didn't even get me that far. All right, this is where we fish for Froggy. Oh, there's Froggy. Looks like he needs my help. Alrighty, so if the if we learn from Amy's story, we have to uh, basically use this uh, to basically. Get the uh, water running. So there's Froggy. So let's end Big the Cat. Well, there's a boss. There's a final boss, but uh. Come on out, Froggy. Okay, I put that in the wrong area. I went that too. I went too far out. Let's just say. Come on out, Froggy. Again, Froggy is always in the same spot, so.
No, you're not. You're not Fergie. Where did Froggy go? There's Froggy. Come on, Froggy. I, I did it too low. There we go. Come on, Froggy. Froggy. We are almost done with Big the Cat. Big the Cat is gonna take two parts of this. Like, literally the best thing about Big the Cat is that it's short. Like, the time you spend on, I've been only been recording for half an hour, but like, the time you spend on Big the Cat depends on like, how quickly you can find Froggy. I'm being transported. Where am I? Why am I all of a sudden here? The other character, we have to uh, go to the Emerald location. Go to the Emerald chart, the uh, Master Emerald. I don't know. Where am I? Where's Froggy? So these are the seven emeralds. What are the emeralds? What do they do? We're back at the egg carrier. Where was I? Froggy, I gotta say that. I don't like the looks of this place. Oh yeah, we have to escape the egg yeah, carrier. That's no point to my rescuer do. I don't know who would He is legit strangling Froggy. Just look at this. I got Froggy! I don't give him strangling him to death! Get going, buddy! Emergency alert has been canceled. Resuming monorail operation. Alrighty, so we just have to, uh... Use, yeah, we, this hit, well, actually is the monorail. I could so make a Simpsons quote, but, uh... Let's make Big the Cat the true star of this. Why is he doing that shitting? I'm in the- Why is the door shutting? There we go. And we're on, the, we're on top of the egg carrier. Oh, by the way, this is the dumbest part of the big story. I totally forgot about this. This is the dumbest part of Big the Cat's story. So we have to go, we have to go to Chaos 6. Oh yeah. Wait to get a load of this. If I can uh, get up top of this platform. Ooh, ooh. There we go.
So, I see you're trying to escape. I'm right on time. Hey, us! Grab him! Get that frog! And don't forget the Chaos Emerald! Leave Fergie alone! Is just like um, just like wailing his arms. I'm really mad, Fuggy. And there's Sonic. So no sweat. I'll get him back. Watch me. Alrighty, so this is the stupidest part of the game, the Big the Cat story. You have to you have to get you have to lure Big the Cat out of Chaos 6. So this is the only boss is Big the Cat. The only boss, it's like one of the easiest fights in the whole game. Let's just say you just gotta, um, you have to aim for Froggy. Yeah, you just aim for where Froggy is and you win. That was 14 seconds. This is the stupidest part, by the way. Not just getting, not just the 14 second boss fight, but uh, this is by far the stupidest part of Sonic Adventure in general right here. So we have to get out, we have to, yeah, we have to get out of this plane. How the fuck does he even fit in the plane? <laughs> They used the plane to escape, but like, how does he fit in there? And that's all of Big the Cat's story. <laughs> this is the stupidest part. He just escapes in a plane he can't even fit in. And he's dancing on top of the pyramid! And alrighty, that was Big the Cat's story, so... 
Yeah, that was a trip, let's just say. Depending on how quickly you can get through the levels, you can end Big the Cat story pretty quickly, let's just say. But uh, even though he's the slowest character in the game, he is the weakest attack. And like, um, let's just say his levels are... It's just not good gameplay. Like I like I like cracking jokes about Big the Cat in this in this playthrough, but I don't exactly like playing as Big the Cat. And like I, I've known people that have played Sonic Adventure that have said they stopped at the Big the Cat. So I'm like, why? I don't even blame them. To be honest, to be fair, like um, the next character we're gonna use is the last of the bunch, E102 Gamma. So we went through two characters I that are not very good, but uh. I actually do like using E102 Gamma, and I do like his story, so, um, yeah, we're gonna do it in the next part, so, uh, next time we're gonna go, uh, do E102 Gamma, that's actually the final story. We're actually approaching the end of this playthrough now, um, I said this the last two stories, but I think I wanna do some, uh, shorter playthroughs, the Lord or another large playthrough, I already have a few in mind, but, like, um, I mean, this, I mean, this is being recorded three weeks in advance. This is looking like a two-month playthrough. There's Big the Cat and the Ice and Ice Cap, but, uh, yeah, like, uh, I guess the only good thing about Big the Cat is that you can end the levels pretty quickly. But then you don't get the power-ups and stuff like that, I don't know. I didn't really care too much about the power to be honest. Or at least compared to other characters. Alright, so that's all I really have to- I waste- I basically saved all my commentary for when we're actually playing as Big the Cat, but, uh... Yeah, it's like... It's definitely a bad- it's bad in concept, but I just find, like, enjoying- Probably because I've seen lots of playthroughs over the years where they just, like, uh... Big the Cat is not a well-liked character, but I find him to be in the so bad it's good category. Like, like he's essentially the room of video game characters. That was only 43 minutes also. That was like, that was a fast story, let's just say. But uh, I guess that's the only, I said this all right, two times already. It's the only good part about Big the Cat story is that you can end it pretty quickly. Still 43 minutes of gameplay, but um. I almost wore out my GameCube joystick legit doing the Big the Cat levels, let's just say, but, uh, yeah, I wish I could, uh, show a picture, but, uh, presented by Sega, and, um, the final picture is Big and Froggy, let's just say, let's send it off with a little Froggy! That's Froggy for the road, but, uh, yay, I'm a Froggy! That was Big the Cat story, so, uh, we're gonna go back to the title screen, and, uh... The long part, let's just say, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna go to, um... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the title screen, and, um, let's just demonstrate what we're gonna do in the next part, if I can get through the medals, the, me the menus again, but, um... Alrighty, so next time on, uh, next time on, uh, Sonic Adventure DX, we're gonna do E102 Gamma. See you guys then. Oh boy, was that a trip.